So the processing steps to extract lithium and boron from the Rhyolite Ridge uh, mineralisation are quite straightforward. I'll briefly step through that. So firstly we would uh, open pit mine and then crush the ore down to about an inch or two size. Uh, it's then leached with acid in a tank or a vat uh, uh, as it's known. Uh, once we've leached the uh, lithium and boron from the rock it's in, it ends up in the uh, acid solution and from there we actually extract first the boron and then the lithium by a series of uh, evaporation and crystallisation steps. Now each of those steps really is not uncommonly used but in different parts of the mining industry. So the acid leach is really a, pro uh, a process very similar to copper mining in oxide copper deposits. The, the boric acid extraction and crystallisation is similar to what is used in boron mines uh, in the United States and overseas. And in terms of lithium, it's really a process step that's very similar to production of lithium in carbonate uh, from brines. So there is no new technology uh, or unproven technology that we're going to be using in processing the rhyolite ridge material. This is the first time that this exact process flow sheet has been used on a lithium deposit, but it's certainly not the first time these individual process uh, steps have been used in, in mining. So uh, the, uh, it's Rhyolite Ridge though is the only lithium deposit known to date where acid leaching can be used in this manner to extract the lithium and the boron from a hard rock deposit. So very different scenario to other hard rock deposits like the spodumenes where high temperature roasting is first required to liberate the lithium. Here all we need to do is just extract it with acid leach process. When we leach the rhyolite ridge mineralisation using the sulfuric acid we get really high recoveries into the solution so 95 to 98 percent in a very short time frame, a very short residence time for the leach. Um, so we get really high extraction rates and from there though we then take that PLS and we then remove the boron and the lithium plus some impurities along the way and we uh, are expecting a very high recovery in that part of the process as well uh, but the details of that we are still working on. So we talk about the unique mineralogy at Rhyolite Ridge and what makes it so different than sedimentary clay deposits. At Rhyolite Ridge, 40% of the mineralisation is made up of the mineral surlicite, which is a sodium borosilicate mineral, mm -hmm. uh, and that's where the boron resides. We have another mineral, sepulite, where the lithium uh, sits. Both of those minerals are quite soluble in acid. So the other minerals that are in the rock, which are relevant to acid leaching, are the carbonates, magnesium and calcium carbonate minerals and potassium feldspar. Now when the acid is applied to the mineralisation, the lithium and boron leach out, the calcium from the calcite actually reacts with the acid to form gypsum which then helps with filtration because gypsum forms in a sand type uh, habit aiding with filtration. The, uh, the Potassium feldspar that is also very prevalent in the rock is not particularly reactive with the sulfuric acid so by the, before the potassium feldspar is attacked the lithium and boron are removed. Importantly what that means then is also that there's very very low clay content in this rock in the surlicite rich mineralisation uh, with the other minerals that I described there's a very low uh, clay content and that's what really allows the acid leach process to work so well. In, in addition to the lithium boron mineralisation at, at Rhyolite Ridge we have some hundreds of millions of tonnes of lithium rich clay but we do not intend to process that. We will stockpile it as we mine but it will be left for a, a later date when someone uh, hopefully cracks it in terms of a, a, an economic um, technology to be able to extract the lithium from the claim.